Can you all hear me all right? Welcome to the fifth annual Vibrant Living Expo and Culinary Showcase. Yay! We are so happy that you all decided to join us here in beautiful Fort Bragg, California on the northern Mendocino coast. It is a gorgeous day today, and uh, we are just delighted to have you all here. We have such an international audience here. I've talked to people from all over the world, and it's very exciting. We have a wonderful program in store for you with fantastic speakers who are all authors and experts in their field. We have celebrity chefs, the majority of whom are uh, res uh, recipe authors, uh, recipe book authors, as well as restaurateurs and instructors of raw culinary arts. We have exercise physiologists, so you're going to have yoga every morning. You'll have uh, exercise classes morning and afternoon if you choose to take them. We also have some wonderful healing music, including meditation with crystal bowls and harp, beautiful harp music. Um, we have some wonderful evening events, including a reggae dance party tonight here in this room. And tomorrow evening at Cotton Auditorium, we have a special event, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that later. We have lots of things going on, and I'm going to talk about what some of those are right now. I know that some of you were in the audience last night when I made some of the announcements, but I think it's good for you to hear some of them again, and I have more, and I'd like to share it also with the people who have just joined us. So I know that you're going to enjoy this experience, whether you're here or whether you're watching live via the Internet. We are streaming live this year, all four channels going on simultaneously, so people all over the world can experience our expo from the comfort of their home. That is really exciting and something that we've wanted to do for two years and that has taken us months of organization to accomplish. Um, we're really, really excited. We've partnered with Quest TV. You'll see that uh, the, the filmmakers are in every room filming everything, so whether you are here or watching live on the internet, you can see whatever is going on. Of course, you can only see one thing at a time. That's the real difficult challenge of being in an expo like this, a world-class expo where there are four things happening simultaneously all day for three days. How do I make those hard choices of who to see at the top of every hour? Well, fortunately, this year we have heard your cry and we have created not only our expo and expo live via the internet. But when you're finished with the expo, you will be able to have what is called the expo live encore. That means that you can watch every single presentation of the entire expo when you get home for the entire month of September. So for 30 days, you have the opportunity to explore all of the presentations that we have here at the Expo, including this talk and every other talk all weekend long. And it's for something like $59. Don't quote me on that. But it's really inexpensive. I mean, it's like a no-brainer. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you want to do that? It's amazing. This is available to those of you who are here and have your three-day pass and to people who, are, uh, who also have signed up for the Expo Live and are watching via the Internet now. Uh, and it'll, it actually will be available to other people, but for, of course, an increased price. So yours is, is much less because you've already bought a ticket. But this is a way for you to do this without having to buy individual CDs as we had to in the past. So it's really, really exciting. And it works. Last night we had our plenary and it was it was streamed live, and it all looked great, and we're so excited because, you know, we're like this, hoping that it's all going to work. It's a technological challenge beyond my, you know, beyond my wildest imaginations. But we have such a great crew, and it worked. And speaking of a great crew, I want to thank everybody who has made this this whole vision of the expo possible. Um, we have all of our presenters who so generously give of their time to be here. They're passionate about what they teach. They come here um, on their own on their own dollar dollars multiplied by many. 
uh, to get here and to share with you their expertise. We have an opportunity for you while you're here to actually book private sessions with them. So we have a consultation room that we built specifically for this purpose. It's across from registration in the Living Light Center. So if you are interested in having a one-on-one -on -one session for half an hour or longer with one of our presenters or chefs, you just need to approach them and tell them that you'd like to have a session with them. Most of them would love to have you just sit down and chat um, as long as it isn't really a session. Uh, but definitely go up to them, introduce yourself, tell them how much you enjoyed their talk or how much you have appreciated them over the years or their books over the years. Definitely ask them if they will sign, sign your books. No author minds signing a book. Believe me, it's a highlight for them to know that you care enough to ask for a signature. So um, please definitely uh, connect with them. We've created a venue here that only allows for four to 500 participants. That means that you have direct access to our speakers, and they want that access as much as you do. So definitely introduce yourselves and, um, and follow them after their talk. Um, I'm not talking about stalking, but, <laughs> but I am talking about following them back to the center after their talk because they will be going to the author's table which is located right outside of our marketplace and they'll sit there and be happy to talk with you and sign your book. So, uh, so after every talk, whether it's in this room or any of our other three venues, the, the speaker will be going back to the author's table. Almost every speaker that we have is an author of at least one book. And most of them are for sale in the marketplace. Those that aren't will be for sale at their tables or at the book publisher's uh, 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 table, which is also located in our exhibitor area. All of the exhibitor booths in the, in the central area, the central market or um, courtyard of our center uh, are available free of charge to the public. So they can come in and they can make purchases and they can talk to the different uh, exhibitors. Uh, but of course, if they want to go in and see a presentation, then they have to buy a ticket. But there are some things that are absolutely free to the public this weekend. So if you happen to run into people when you're out and about in town, uh, let them know. Or if you have family members that are here local or you're staying with people here, let them know that there are some ways that they can enjoy the expo for free. And one of them is at Cotton Auditorium Saturday night. Saturday night we have a special program. Cotton Auditorium is located about six blocks from here and you'll see a map of it in your expo program guide. Toward the back we have maps. Uh, we have two maps. One is of our center in the company store which is located on the corner of Redwood and Main. Just the opposite corner on the same block as the town hall that we're in right now. And just a few blocks from here, you'll see on the map is our inn, and one block from the inn is Cotton Auditorium. It's a beautiful, refurbished, uh, turn-of-the-century auditorium, and one of the most beautiful auditoriums on the West Coast. Uh, it seats over 800 people, and we've rented it specifically for the expo, but we are opening up the program to anybody who wants to come. That means anybody at all who wants to come to that program is welcome. It starts at 7 o'clock. It runs until 10. And um, actually, we're going to open the doors at 6.15 so any of our expo participants can come uh, and network and meet each other and chat. And the presenters will be there as well. And we'll have a little bake sale, uh, a no-bake sale, really, uh, that of pastries that were prepared especially for you by our pastry arts graduates just a couple of days ago. And we have things like tiramisu, mudslide pie, uh, white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. I mean, it's a amazing dessert menu. So uh, if you want to come a little bit early and explore those desserts, the program starts at 7, and you can't go into the auditorium with food and beverages. Beverages, yes, we'll have coconut water and all kinds of other great beverages as well. So do join us for that. And if you have books by John Robbins, Howard Lyman, Will Tuttle, or myself, and you haven't had an opportunity to have them signed during the expo, bring them with you because we'll have a book signing at the end of the event. John Robbins is our 
headliner for this event. John Robbins is the the author of Diet for a New America. I have been working on him to come to our expo for a long, long time. He's he has been a mentor to me since long before I started the uh, in the raw food movement, and I was in the vegan movement before that. And so I'm really, really honored and and happy that we're able to bring him here to our town of Fort Bragg, and for all of you to have an opportunity to see him and hear him speak. He is a very inspiring man. He started Earth Save International as well as having written many, many books and really changed the course of, of, of diet in America when he wrote Diet for a New America. So um, please don't miss that and please spread the word to anybody that you meet. It's going to be a fabulous night. Howard Lyman is also on the agenda for that evening. He'll be doing a talk. Howard Lyman is the, known as the Mad Cowboy. You'll have an opportunity to meet him and hear him also while you're here at the expo. Uh, Howard Lyman was the, the gentleman farmer, or, or rancher, I should say, uh, ex-rancher, now vegan, uh, who brought the information about mad cow disease to America. And he was sued, along with Oprah Winfrey, on her show by the tech Texas Cattlemen's Association, who really got upset when they heard her say, I'll never eat another hamburger again. And so they sued Howard and Oprah. It was a very long suit, but Howard and Oprah won because they were bringing the truth to America. There was nothing libelous about the truth. They said what was true. And so he's going to be there at Cotton this evening, as well as on our program. Uh, not, Not this evening but tomorrow evening at Cotton Auditorium. And Howard is always a delight to listen to. He is humorous, um, he is informative, and he has a ton of experience. So uh, you could go to all of his talks, and everyone would be different. Really, really excited to have him here at the Expo for the first time as well. Another first-timer that will be at Cotton Auditorium is Will Tuttle. If you were here last night, you heard his very inspiring and moving words of peace. He wrote The World Peace Diet, uh, and he also is an acclaimed, internationally acclaimed, concert pianist. So he is going to be performing at Cotton Auditorium tomorrow evening as well. And so... It's going to be a wonderful program. If you don't have a ride, we'll have a ride share board up in our registration uh, area, which is toward the back. You all know if you registered there. Hopefully you all registered. You all should have one of these on. And by the way, if you see one of these with a little, uh, just like mine, with a little leaf on it, that means it's staff. And you can ask somebody who is on staff any questions that you have about where something is or how something works, uh, and they'll be happy to help you. Uh, we also have people around in the, the, the yellow T-shirts with the green writing that says Green Team. These are our volunteers. And I want to take a moment to thank our volunteers right now because without volunteers, we really couldn't have an expo. Even though we have 40 employees who are working on the expo year-round, really is a huge project. Of course, these are our full-time employees who run our four green businesses year-round as well, so the Expo is on top of that. And they're working extra hard, uh, really for the last two months, and throughout this weekend, they'll be all working overtime, um, to make this happen for you. We have a vision here at Living Light, and our 40 employees are all supporting that vision. They're all here because they're passionate about what we do here at Living Light, and they're really here to serve you. So I ask for you to express your, your, your appreciation to all of our volunteers and to our staff members who are all easily seen and identified by either their badge or their yellow T-shirts because they are here making it happen for you. Um, If you get a little bit impatient because the food service is slow, please remember that we usually serve about 50 meals a day, not 400. And so we're doing our very best to make it as fast as possible. And that's why we have set up our grab-and-go station. And I was really happy to see that people were using it this morning uh, because the food is all packaged in these green compostable containers. They look like plastic, but believe me, they're not. We are a green company, and we are really committed to using green products everywhere. Everything is organic. 
Um, everything is vegan. You don't even have to read labels when you go into our marketplace. We just don't carry anything else. Um, and we have wonderful books, as you, as you know, in our marketplace as well. But anyway, getting back to the cafe, we've set up the grab-and-go station to make it easy for you. We've packaged all of our salads and everything in containers for this weekend, even though normally we would give you the option of being served on plates. We can't do that this weekend. We are really trying to accommodate you to see everything that you can. And I know that since we don't have a specific lunch hour, it's hard to make a choice. When am I going to sit down to eat? So by putting it in packaging, like this, it makes it easier for you to grab and go. If you do want to have something like a smoothie or a juice made specially for you, you can, of course, go into the cafe, and those things are made to order. Although we do have a different smoothie that pre we pre-make first thing in the morning, um, and it's a special every day. So if you're happy to have the special and just grab and go, uh, those are made fresh. We're also going to be making the uh, green giant juices that are the most popular juices always, not just at the expo, but every day in our cafe. We'll be making those fast and furiously all day long so that you can grab one and go and you don't have to special order it. Um, we have... Uh, not only our staff that are here to serve you and are going to be patient with you, even when you're impatient with them, uh, but we also have, as I said, our volunteer green team, and we have ambassadors. The ambassadors are not always necessarily indicated in um, in any way other than by their badge. Um, some of them will be wearing banners so that you can see it easily. The ambassadors are graduates of our program, and most of them are helping with food preparation and assisting in our culinary venue. Our culinary venue is very special at the Expo if you compare it with any culinary venue anywhere else on the planet. And the reason is um, that we are a culinary school first and foremost. That's why our expo is called the Vibrant Living Expo and Culinary Showcase because we have a state-of-the-art culinary center. And so when you go into our culinary center to watch a demo, uh, first of all, if you're among the first 50 people to go in, you'll receive a ticket. And that ticket ensures that you'll get a sample. So often when people go into a culinary demo, they're watching through the whole thing, and then there's a horde of people that arrive about five minutes before the end. And you know what they're there for. They're there for the samples. And quite often they'll line the walls and they'll grab the samples before the people who have been watching the demo get a chance to see them. Well, fair is fair. This year we decided, and those of you who watch the demos all the time, I see you over there, um, know what I'm talking about. This year we have made sure that you're going to get your samples so not only do we have that, but for those of you who can't watch every single demo, even though I know there are people here who camp out in the culinary studio, um, and you just want to see one or two of them, but you'd love to get the recipes for all of them, we've created a recipe booklet for you this year. So if you are holding a three-day pass or you are online watching live, you'll be given the opportunity to download the recipe booklet absolutely free of charge. If you're here uh, for a single, single speaker pass, uh, which is $15, by the way, for anybody who wants to just come and see one talk, uh, or a, a single-day pass, you need to buy the, the recipe booklet. It's not free unless you're carrying a three-day pass. But it's only $10, which is you know not much more than it's going to cost you to print it if you download it anyway because it's in color and so forth. So um, if you want all the recipes from the entire showcase, you want to get the book or download it at home. If you have the book with you, though, it's kind of nice when you do go up there to be able to take notes right on the page of the recipe. So uh, they will be for sale in the marketplace as well as in registration. Mm -hmm. So you can get those for $10. Okay. Um, so I, I want to tell you that the uh, Vibrant Living Expo and Culinary Showcase is co-produced by the Institute for Vibrant Living, which is a nonprofit 501c3 established by my husband Dan Latterman and a group of of very generous, um, uh, passionate people who were interested in sharing the message of vibrant living to the world. They produced their first expo about. I'm gonna. Dan's not here right now, but I'm going to guess it was about the same time that I, I started Living Light, which was uh, 11 years ago. And so it was somewhere in that time because I was, one of, I was a speaker at that event. 
And then after that, it kind of morphed into another raw food event that happened for several years in Portland, Oregon. Then when we opened up our our location here five years ago, we took it over. And so this is the fifth annual. Every year gets better and better. Um, we will never grow beyond 500 people. We want to keep it a small venue. And that's why this year we've decided to bite the bullet and, and stream it live over the Internet so more people can see it. And it doesn't be, uh, turn into a kind of a free-for-all. Well, it's never been a festival. It's always been an expo. We're really focused mostly on education, which doesn't mean we're not going to have fun. We'll have plenty of fun. Uh, as I said, there will be a reggae dance here this evening, and um, we have a lot of different kinds of exercise classes and a lot of other fun things to do. But primarily, we are focused on education. We want to support you in maintaining a raw food lifestyle. Um, and, and that doesn't mean 100% raw. It's very important to us here at Living Light to let you know that there's no judgment around where you're at. I don't care if you eat meat. You're here wanting to know more about a raw vegan lifestyle. That is so meaningful to me. Thank you for being here. Uh, we have many students who come to us that aren't vegan at all. They're not even vegetarian. But they know how important it is to add more raw fruits and vegetables to their diet. They know that they will experience major health benefits as a result. So what I'm going to ask you to do this weekend is to not make judgments about where people are and not put any of the speakers on a high pedestal just because they're 100% raw or put them or, or have them topple off of that pedestal if you find that they aren't 100% raw because 100% raw is not necessarily the ideal for everyone. And that may be surprising to some people to hear me say that. I will tell you right now, my name is Sherry Soria and I am not 100% raw 100% of the time. And it's not because I have food issues that I can't be 100% raw. It's just not my goal. There are some times that I want to eat foods that are not all raw. Like when I have a meal with my father who makes beans for me, just like he did when I was a child. I come from a Hispanic background. I love my father. It's a great way for us to bond. He makes them special for me. He never puts any meat in them anyway, but he doesn't put oil in them for me. He doesn't think they taste as good, but I'm happy with them, and I'm ha if I'm happy, he's happy. So the point is, is that we have our reasons why we may not always be 100% raw 100% of the time. It may not be our goal. Um, it may be that we are choosing to do that because we have health issues uh, or because we have food issues. And I honor you whatever your choice is for whatever the reason is. And I'm hoping that you'll honor each other as well. What we are here at Living Light is a community. And in a community that is accepting of ourselves as well as others. I don't care what size you are. I don't care what you eat. I'm going to love you and accept you exactly the way you are. And that's the reason that Loving Light has flourished. That's the reason why we started doing two workshops a year, and now we're up to eight full sessions a year. That means that we are a year-round school. We have 40 full-time employees, whereas six years ago we had one. A year and a, uh, five years ago, I think we started with one and a half. And last year, I think we had, you know, not much more than 25. So we are expanding rapidly. And that's because there is a worldwide revolution. Everybody in the world is experiencing health challenges. We've had people from over 40 countries come to our school. Places like Beirut and Iceland. Places like the Philippines and Korea and Japan, all over Asia, all over South America, all every continent. And that is because there is a premium on health. Our health is deteriorating rapidly. Our children are coming down with illnesses that used to be exclusively adult illnesses. There are countries like the Marshall Islands where my co-author, Brenda Davis, was hired by the government to help them to change their diet because 30, something like 30% to 50% of the children already have diabetes. 
because for breakfast they have ramen noodles with Kool-Aid sprinkled on it. Now that sounds radical, but I'm telling you, what's the difference between that and fortified cereal and Kool-Aid? And, and cow's milk. I mean, what we're doing here is not so much better. And that's why we have such a high degree of obesity and diabetes and so many other diseases in our country. And it's not just in our country. Obviously, it's happening all over the world wherever anybody has adopted a Western diet. Not only that, but because of the fact that man in the last few centuries has, has become so dependent on cooking everything that we are obviously killing a lot of the more sensitive nutrients and enzymes that are present in our food and that we need. And you're going to hear about that from all different speakers this weekend. One of the things that all of our speakers have in common is that they encourage you to eat more raw fruits and vegetables, to eat organically, to eat as freshly harvested as possible. In other words, grow your own food is best. Buy it from farmer's markets, from farmers that you know. That's second best. Develop a relationship with the food suppliers in your organic market. That would be third best. Letting them know that you really don't want food that has been in, in cold storage for a long time. Because that's one of the problems when, we when I talk about freshly harvested food. So many distributors, unfortunately, they, they kind of mess with the prices by holding foods. They take foods when they're in season. They store them for months so that they can bring them out again when it's not the season and they can charge more. So buying foods that, are, that you know are in season now is the best way to go. If you're planning a menu for January, don't put peaches on the menu because they're not in season in January. Look at what the foods are that are in season in January, and those are the ones that you want to eat. Now, they might be in season in Peru, and you know, that would be a good second choice. At least they were cut in season and shipped here. But the problem with shipping is that they often have to be cut or harvested while they're green in order to be shipped, and then they're either gassed or held for a long period of time to try and get them ripe. And then, of course, they're never sweet and wonderful, and they can actually, be, uh, uh, they can actually cause more acidity in your body than if you didn't eat them at all. Consequently, you're going to hear some differences of opinion about things like fruit. That's probably the biggest difference of opinion that you'll hear among the presenters here. The reason is, is that some people don't believe in including a lot of fruit in the diet because it's so difficult to get tree-ripened fruit. And when you get fruit that isn't ripe, it can actually be acid-causing instead of alkalizing to the body. Whereas some other camps in the raw food world will recommend a, a higher fruit diet. And of course they'll say ripe, raw, organic, fresh fruit, but can you get ripe fruit that's truly matured ripe? So that's the real question. If you're going to eat fruit, make sure that it is ripe and that it is season, uh, appropriate to the season. You're here in Fort Bragg at the perfect time of year. We, you probably, to get here, had to go through organic farms. Oh, well, maybe it was organic vineyards. <laughs> well, you'll have an opportunity to taste some of that this weekend, too, because we will have a wine sampling happening in our courtyard as well. So anyway, um, and it's organic wine, and wine is raw. That doesn't mean that you should over-imbibe, but a little taste here and there, for those of you who are okay with it, uh, is, you know, is all right with some of us. Um, but anyway, so there are different camps, and some say okay to wine on occasion, and others say no. Some say okay to cacao on occasion, and some say no. Um, some say okay to salt on occasion, and some say no. Some say yes, definitely fermented foods, and some say no. It, that's why we bring them all together, because you may really resonate with the message of one and the message of another, 
even though the messages may be very different because you are who you are. You are an individual and your needs may not exactly match this guru or that guru. And believe me, they don't hold themselves up as gurus. I'm just saying that sometimes you do. And I'd like to say don't. I'd like to say listen to your own body. Know who you are. Know what works for you right now. And what works for you right now may not be what worked for you yesterday, and it may be different from what will work for you tomorrow. So be open. If you hear something, if you've been doing something and you think it works for you, and you hear something that sounds like it might work for you, try it. If it doesn't work, don't think, oh, it's just me, there's something wrong with me. No, there's nothing wrong with you. You're either not ready for that or it's not right for you. But if it isn't right for you right now, don't think that it's not good. It may be good for you tomorrow, and it's just not good for you now. So be open, listen to your body. What does that mean? It means if you're feeling sluggish in the morning or sluggish in the afternoon, it may mean that you're either eating something that's not right for you or it's too much of something that is right for you, or it mean that, may mean that you're eating it at the wrong time of day, like too late at night or too close to the time that you go to bed, or too close to the time that you want to listen to a lecture. If you don't want to fall asleep in the afternoon, don't eat a lot of pate for lunch. Nut pate can be pretty heavy, and it can take a lot of work for you to digest it. Maybe you want to eat that a little bit later in the day when you don't have to be quite as sharp. At least that's how it works for me. If you feel really great have eating light in the morning, then eat light in the morning. We've got lots of light foods for you. We've got fruits. We've got smoothies. We've got juices. But if you feel like you need something heartier, we have some sprouted oatmeal for you. We have some buckwheat granola for you. In fact, I'm going to be doing a demonstration on breakfasts of champions on Friday morning. And I think it's at 10 o'clock. You can check your schedule. So if you're having a hard time figuring out what to eat for breakfast, come and see my demonstration. Or if you can't see the demonstration because there's somebody else you really want to see, buy the recipe book or download it, and then you'll have the best of both worlds. I'm also going to be doing another demonstration as long as I'm at it. The following day, I already said to you, or did I tell you that I come from a Hispanic background? I think I did. Um, And so on Sunday, I'll be doing a demonstration on comiendo pura vida, which is means eating pure life in Spanish. It's the title of one of my books. that I was written in Spanish, and so it's not available in English. If you have Spanish-speaking uh, friends or family, you might think about buying it for them. Um, but it, it means eating pure life, and I will be sharing some of the flavors of Mexico. And we'll be talking about the flavors of Mexico and how to replicate them in a uh, using cooked foods, but, of course, preparing them without cooking. Um, at Living Light, we really honor where you are. That's the whole bottom line. And, and we have assembled a group of uh, diverse opinions for you to hear. Please don't be confused. Just ask yourself. Check in with your body. Um, I mentioned some of the symptoms, uh, sluggishness. You might also notice changes in your skin, even changes in your eyesight, changes in your hair. Changes in, um, I know that when I was eating cooked starches, I I thought I had carpal tunnel. As soon as I stopped cooked starches, I had no more carpal tunnel. And it was really because it was acidifying me. So think about, uh, really notice uh, what kinds of symptoms you're experiencing. And as Doug Graham said last night, if you're experiencing some kind of health challenge, then you might want to be a little bit more radical in your approach than if you weren't experiencing health challenges and you are feeling really great. You have reached your your uh, your weight balance. In other words, if you are if you're happy with what you weigh, um, based on your past history, your bone structure, your BMI, and in my book, um, the Raw Food Revolution Diet, you'll see that I have charts in there that can help you to know whether or not you are at your optimal weight, and can help you with different uh, kinds of raw food diets that will uh, help you to reach that balance. And 
really the title of my book, the subtitle of my book is Feast, Lose Weight, Gain Energy, Feel Younger. And that's what I think we all want. And to do that, you really need to, as I said, and I will say it again, listen to your body. Pay attention to all those symptoms. Don't think it's just about age. It's not about age. I am 62 years young. Yes. I still weigh the same as I did when I was 22 years old. I received my third black belt in karate when I was 60 years old. And I'm going for my second degree in that particular style right now. So we don't have to give up. Let's not give up. Let's get better. Because we do get smarter. We do get wiser. And there's no reason why we have to go downhill. I know that I have relatives that think, oh, my God, sis, nobody can be like you. But that just isn't true. Anybody can be like me. Anybody. You all have it in you. You just have to make the right choices based on what your needs are. I'm going to be doing a talk on creating an an extraordinary life. Uh, I'm not sure what day that is. You'll have to look at your schedule. But I encourage you all to come and see how you can live up to your full potential. It's It's not about food, although food is a small part of it. It's really about looking at yourself, connecting with your own best qualities, recognizing the qualities that you admire in others, and implanting those seeds within yourself, learning how to express them, learning how to appreciate yourself. And those things will all help you make the right choices when it comes to your food habits. Because if you don't love yourself enough, you may not make the right choices. In fact, you may do harm to yourself because you think you're not worthy. I know that all sounds like a bunch of new age gobbledygook and psychological, you know, hocus pocus. But it's really true. And if you come to my little 45-minute talk, I will show you how true it is. So um, let's see. I'm doing that. (laughs) <laughs> what else am I? What else can I tell you about what I'm doing this weekend? I will be sharing the stage with my husband Dan Latterman at four o'clock on Sunday because that's about the time that you're all thinking about ah, sigh leaving the Vibrant Living Expo, and so the class is raw on the go. So we'll be sharing with you how to travel in the raw. Okay, I have about five minutes left, and I just want to make sure that I cover all of my other announcements uh, that I may not have made. Uh, If you aren't parking in the back parking lot, you're parking in the wrong place. The back parking lot is all the way back past the train. So please make sure that you are parked there, not on the, along the side of the building or on the street, because those are that is two-hour parking. And that's really for customers of the other uh, merchants in the company store, and we don't want to upset them. We want them to want you to come back again and again, year after year. And if they don't have any parking for their customers, I don't know what will happen. So please make sure you park in the right place. Um, All of this whole downtown area is two-hour parking um, for about three blocks in the easterly direction, which is there. So any any place within the three-block area uh, east is two-hour parking. Um, Best thing to do if you're staying here in town is just walk. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful walk. Get a little bit of exercise because you're going to be sitting indoors the whole time otherwise. Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to go back to some of my other announcements here. All right, well, what I really want to do before I forget, before anything else happens, is I want to thank our sponsors because our sponsors make it all happen for us. We really could not afford to do this expo without the help of our sponsors. And as I said earlier, our presenters who really pay for their own way here and so generously, and I really appreciate that. Um, so I want to thank Stanford Inn by the Sea because they have given us beautiful rooms for many of our presenters, and we are so grateful for them. Um, they are Four Diamond Lodging on the Mendocino Coast. They offer organic vegan dining. They were voted by Veg News Magazine as one of the best vegan destinations in the world, and they are right here on the Mendocino Coast. When people ask me, what's your favorite restaurant outside of Living Light, I say The Ravens. That's where we go to celebrate. So, And they do have raw food on the menu as well. I also want to thank E3 Live because they donated to the first. How many of you were in, in, among that first 200 that got the free bottle of, oh, yes, a lot of you. So you'll be able to pick it up at their booth. 
um, you'll also be able to pick up your Health Force nutritional products, which was Vitamin Mineral Green, Earth, and Maca Force, uh, at the registration area starting tomorrow. So you have to get that starting tomorrow. I want to thank the Fresh Network and Get Fresh Magazine because they were media sponsors. Uh, Veg News Magazine was also a media sponsor. Excalibur Dehydrators, who keep us in dehydrators year after year after year, are uh, our sponsors. And they are, as far as I'm concerned, the only dehydrator that we ever recommend to our students. Harvest Market uh, was another sponsor. They are a, a, a market here in town that has wonderful organic produce, just about anything that you could find at Whole Foods we have at our local harvest market, and they provided the bags that we gave you with your packet. Hippocrates Health Institute, which is deemed as the world's number one teaching institute by spa management group, uh, is a historical and thriving center that was founded by uh, my mentor, uh, actually I have two mentors, Dr. Ann Wigmore and Victoris Kolvinskis, who's here with us this evening, and Dr. Ann is here with us in spirit. Um, and and so it's now under the leadership of Dr. Brian Clement and Anna Marie Clement, and Dr. Clement will be here this weekend doing talks for you as well. And also I want to thank uh, Transition Nutrition, who uh, is committed to supplying us with premium vegan foods. They supply us with a lot of our foods at, at Living Light, and they have cutting-edge health products. Other sponsors include Guayaki Tea, Fry Vineyards, um, and Visionary Culture Radio. So thank you very much to all of our sponsors, and thanks to you all for being here. Um, I appreciate you so much. And next up in this room is Victoris Kolvinskas. Check your schedule and see all of the other wonderful presenters that we have all weekend long. And thank you all so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>